What's up you guys? I'm glad that you're back because today, yes, I will be showing you my attempts at creativity. But before we get there, I want you guys to meet someone. So let's roll the introduction and get on with it. So, I told you guys that I want to discover the different aspects of the creative economy. Now, as I was doing some research a few weeks back, I discovered this event at the Thomas More College in Antwerp. Now, the Thomas More is not an art college, but at the event they had a little exposition of artworks from their own students. Now, this idea immediately got my attention because, to me, as a former student, I never thought that creativity was my strength, let alone to present something on campus. So the idea of students who do not even follow an art class, that present their own artwork, felt like the perfect opportunity to talk to someone who has a better understanding of their own creativity. So. I went there and I had the opportunity to talk to Kana. Now she's got it all figured out and knows exactly how she will combine her creativity with work. But I'll let her do the talking. Op de tentoonstelling van het Thomas More heb jij enkele schilderijen tentoongesteld. Mm -hmm. Hoe lang schilder jij al? Um, ik schilder al sinds ik klein was, maar echt schilderen, schilderen sinds mijn veertien. En van wie heb jij dat allemaal geleerd? Um, mijn mama die heeft uh, kunstonderwijs gedaan, met name fotografie, maar ook wel schilderen en zo. En ook Um, schilderijrestauratie, dus zij heeft mij heel veel geleerd. En um, op mijn 14 ben ik ook bij een vereniging gegaan, uh, het paletje in Bouwel, die um, eigenlijk hebben gezegd van kies wat je wilt maken, wij zullen nu de technieken aanleren. En hoop jij nog verder te kunnen gaan met die schilderkunst? Ja, heel graag. Want je studeert nu voor psychologie, dat is niet onmiddellijk. Een, een, een link met schilderij? Maar... Ja, niet echt. Maar als je zo wat verder gaat kijken naar wat mogelijk is na deze studie, dan um, heb ik um, creatieve therapie gevonden. Dus dan ga ik beeldende therapie proberen te geven. Tijdens de studie kun je kiezen welk medium um, dat je volgt. Dus beeldende kunst, muziek en dans, toneel en drama en zo verder. En ik ga dan beeldende kunst kiezen. Dus op die manier ga je toch proberen om jouw creatieve passie te verwerken ja. in je professionele leven. Ja, ook gewoon omdat ik heb gemerkt hoe hard het mij heeft geholpen, dus ik weet hoe hard het andere mensen ook kan helpen. Zo, so, this is my work. Well, not really. It's, some of it is my work, but a lot of it is simply inspirational stuff that I get. It. After talking to Kaya, I realized that I've tried a lot as well in the past, but I never got to finish any of it. So now that I have my creative room, I've gathered it here so that I can finally work on improving. So I've got here my poetry and other short texts that I've written. And for those of you who follow me on Instagram might know this big guy. It's my inspirational book. This one is fairly recent. The content is basically a lot of texts that I've written over the years. Stories that I wanted to make up but never finished them. So now they are structured in here and I can finally finish them. This one, I figured there's a lot of paintings and drawings, but I haven't opened it up. Um, 
for a few years, so let's find out together what's in there. So how do you use your creativity? Did you find a way to combine it with your professional career? Or do you have plans for the future? Let me know in the comments below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss anything, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.